Hey guys, um, I'm going to do another um, tutorial. I'm going to use my Dior palette. This is the darkest one I got. Um, it's, let me give you the number, 796. Something like that. I took the little um, brushes out of it. And I'm going to use my Amizi palette. And I think probably Saddle from MAC. So I want to do my... I already have my Urban Decay Primer Potion on. And I did my eyebrows a different way with the red. You're going to see why. Um, so I'm going to use um, a paint pot. I don't know which one. I want to use something I haven't used in a while. I think I'm gonna use this. I haven't used it. Oh my god, no. The whole thing popped up. Okay, I haven't used this in such a long while. This is my Beijing shade stick. I don't think Mac has these anymore, but um, I haven't used these in so long. I'm just gonna put that on my lid. and put some underneath okay I'm gonna use my um Sigma brush this is P82 I'm just gonna blend it all out I use this on my um um, concealer. This just have, um, it's like a beige color and it just has a shimmer to it. So, both thought. Okay, I put my tape on and I'm going to go into the Amizi Am Am palette. And I'm going into caramel. If you can see it, going into this one right here. Using my um, Sonia Kashuk um, anniversary brush, and I'm just gonna put that right there, right there in the crease. I'm gonna go upward like that, making a curve going straight up. going over a little bit but I'm trying to focus it going straight up and I'm even going to hit that tape to guide me right up kind of like up and over up and over Okay, now I'm going to use Morocco right there. And I'm, 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 uh, I'm going to angle this going underneath the caramel. going to grab another blending brush this is going to be a lot of blending I'm going to go into this middle part this middle color right there taking um, a MAC brush this is 217 I'm going to go in the inner part of my eye Okay, 
the I'm going to go oh my driver. Okay. I'm gonna go into let's see. This color right here. I'm gonna put that on my lid. The inner part of my lid. Now I'm going to go into the this color right there and I'm going to flip the brush over. Um, yeah. And go into the dark plum color. And I'm going to add that on the outer. Adding motion. I won't say outer, I'm more like um, in the middle because I'm gonna oh, I'm trying to overlap that color onto the color I just put on because I want this darker color right here I want to place that right into my um, my inner V because it's like a dark blackish plumish color so I'm gonna place that right here right onto the tape and then like go up like that and then continue sweeping it into my um, lid and going upward These are getting some fallout on just sweeping everything. So I'm getting a little bit of fallout on the palette or in the palette, not not on the eyeshadows. So I'm going to take another Sonia Kashuk brush because I want to blend that and it's clean. Colors, this um, Dior palette is are amazing. They're really pretty, even though I'm getting a little fallout. But it's not, you know, getting it into my um, it's not getting onto my face. But they're very smooth. I'm gonna go back into caramel. I'm gonna tap that. And I'm just gonna same thing I, I did before. I'm gonna go upward. get a highlight color and I'm gonna go into Morocco again tap into that I'm gonna go a little further down because I don't want that black to be um, or I don't know if it's a black but I don't want well it looks black so it's black um, I don't want it to be super super dark. Basically, I'm just going back over the colors I already put on my lid, just to make sure everything is blended. And I'm going to take um, a Mac brush. This is 214, and I want to put the lighter shade in this palette because I want to use everything into the into this palette on my lid I'm placing that on there and kind of dragging it down a little bit looks kind of scary right now but I'm going to grab a, a blending brush well, might as well go big so I'm going to grab this big MAC brush Since it's so white, I want to use something that will warm it up. So, so I'm going to use Legend out of um, the Amizi, the Amrizi palette. I'm going to use a little bit of caramel 
on this brush just to add a little bit of definition. This is the brush I use, the, um, that lighter color in the middle of the Dior. I'm trying to get some of that white out of uh, the crease, well, at the top part. It's a little too light for me. So I'll probably uh, go into my MAC palette and use soft brown to put on top of it to get some of that white off of it because the Amizi um, Legend didn't really do what I wanted it to do. battery is gonna go so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that dark color right here and I'm gonna add the this shimmery color the first one on the lid right here I'm gonna add that right here and then a the darker color right there and wing my eyes out and I will be back after I charge my battery hey guys I'm gonna make this short and sweet um this is my final look um i use my dior pat my dior i don't know how you call it i think it's a quint or something but i use this one this is 7.96 i use this um color right here on the outer part of my eye and then i use this color right here in the middle and i went into the center with um um, the inner part of my eye with this this is me after I'm gonna take my makeup off um, I just been out um, and of course I use my Am Amrezy palette to do my eyes today and my eyebrows I used um, Anastasia dip brow and um, dip brow pomade I used it in ch um, chocolate and I used used and I used I still said it again mm. Um, brown script and my um to fill in the rest of my eyebrows because as you can see my hair is red um I just did I got my hair done um Thursday and it's not relaxed it is pressed and this is my length of right now um me being natural for a year and I think a month um yeah I'm loving it um I am a bit too red um what's the word for it it's a sandy sandyish color and I have highlights as you can see in my hair as well um me and my stylist decided that you know, I'm, I'm gonna go back to her and she's gonna darken up like up in the root like up in this area of my hair basically um, get a little bit darker but yeah um, I got caught in the rain too we went um, me and my cousins it was one of their birthdays and we went and saw Big Hero it's a cartoon um, so I got caught in the rain and I am kind of like frizzy right now I cannot wait to get back to my curl my curly pattern she said um now that I um dyed my hair that I w my um, curl pattern will be a little bit more relaxed it won't be as tightly wound as it was so we shall see and I want to do a twist out with her because every time I do a twist out it just doesn't look right so we're going to do a twist out with my stylist and see what comes of it and yeah um, this is my whole look. If you follow, if you follow me on Instagram, you already seen my um, hair and everything, my little transformation. But I do like this color though. It's I like it and I don't like it all at the same time. I wish it was a little bit redder, um, dark red, like right up in here. But other than that, I I, I do like it. It is interesting. But I am frizzy. It's all get out. So. 
um my battery is gonna die and i'm just trying to make this short and sweet and to the point so um thank you for watching and i don't know what to do with my hands thank you for watching and have a great night bye